Okay guys, this is just a quick video to settle the dispute about the motion sensor in the Tron bikes in the Sam Flynn version. Um, as you can see, I popped open mine. Don't worry, it's going to go back to its original state. Although I actually might uh, disconnect the speakers because I don't care much for the sound uh, feature. I do like the, the lights, I'm, this, I'm just not crazy about the sound. Um, anyways, um, this is basically the bike open, as you can see. Let me just move it out a little bit. There you go. And uh, the motion sensor or such is not really a motion sensor as it is. What it is, that's why you can't get it to work by moving it or dropping it or anything of that sort. What you have to do is roll it. And here's the thing. This right here, of course, is a bulb. Now, let me just turn it this way and there you might be able to see it better down here I don't know if you can actually see that very well I'll, I'll do a close-up of it in a minute down here there is a switch it's a tiny little switch and it's the same exact switch as this one right here now this right here is a push switch and I'll show you that in a sec um, basically what happens is the wheel on the inside the tire as you can see is hollow to actually make for the uh, hollowness of the uh, tire on the bike and to hold the little LED lights that will light it up. Now this is smooth all around that's how it rolls on these little spokes over here except for one of the sides. Now let me see if I can show it here. You can see that the engine is turning when I turn the wheel. Um, there is a little bump on this side of the wheel right here. It's not very noticeable right now. But when you go around with it and pay attention to the little switch on that side, it's getting closer and it's about to activate it now. And there you can see it. See how that messes with the switch? When you roll the bike, that's why you can roll it a little and it doesn't do anything. This has to bump into the switch and that will activate the, uh, the light and sound feature on your on setting. Also, when the figure is on the bike, this is the little lever that we were talking about in the previous video. This is what's sitting right here. When you sit the figure, it pushes back, it activates the other switch, which is this switch right here. Now, this, are all, this is basically all the equipment for the sound system, the battery chamber, and the little fake engine, which has a gear or two actually working here. So when this turns, it rubs against the little plastic wheel with a rubber ring around it, turns the gear, and it turns the engine, as you can see right there. But this actually settles the whole dispute about the motion sensor. It's not really a motion sensor. It's a switch that you activate when you roll the bike back and forth. So I hope that settles it. Also, um, another quick question that people have been uh, asking is uh, some of the bikes were advertised and I believe the Tron car also was advertised with a color changing uh, light system. Now these bikes will not change colors. Their plastic is molded in blue. So is the plastic on the uh, rims for where the tires are supposed to be. And the LED lights are actually blue, uh, actually like real white bluish LED lights. So these bikes will not change color no matter what you do to them. Um, however, the car might do. I'll let you know when I get it and if I get it. As soon as I have one in hand, I, I will not break it open. I will just let you know. Thanks for watching.